Are you familiar with the fact that we have different intelligences across the spectrum, meaning to say different people have different preferential ways of learning? Yeah. So people will learn best through listening, through right. seeing, through all these kinds of things. Those are called modalities or intelligences. If you tell a student that there is such a thing called modalities, if you tell them that there are different ways we learn, and that you, if you understand your preferred learning style, can self-advocate, meaning to say, let's say you have a teacher who is very much the, the lecture type, talk, 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 doesn't use visuals, never moves around, doesn't create movement opportunities for the students. Many of you sat through classes like this. Probably most of your classes were like this. So for minimally, if the teacher's not going to do it, if the student knows that through movement, <clears throat> that through creating a visual, that by re-listening, that by whatever it is, I will learn the information better, retain it better, etc. Knowing that helps me be a better student. Does that make sense? If I know that my mind can grow, we talked about growth mindset. If I know that my mind can grow, that can expand, get better at something, etc., then that helps me realize that I'm not fixed in my current reality. I can get stronger, better, smarter, etc. So when you demystify for your people, it helps them and it helps you. Right? You're helping them understand that it doesn't have to be that I'm overwhelmed with my work. It doesn't have to be that my email is hitting me up 24-7 doesn't have to be that XYZ reality of the moment is going to be that way forever and ever. You can learn, shift, grow, change to do what's necessary to achieve the outcomes that you seek. So when you lift the veil, like lift the curtain, and you actually tell them, you tell them the science, the psychology, the best practices, whatever you're learning, it doesn't have to be just here. Anything you learn along the way, if you pass that on to them, and you say, by the way, the reason I'm not available to you all the time is because I don't want to multitask, or I want to give you full attention when it's time, or I can't do the priorities that I must do if I'm dealing with all the minutia all the time. You don't call it minutia to them, but you understand. So you are telling them why you're not so accessible, why you're certain, setting certain hours, why you've changed your approach, why, blah, 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 whatever those are, so that they better understand, appreciate, and also hopefully internalize it for themselves.